Deadlifts are said to be one of the most fatiguing exercises. Does the research support this? These researchers had 10 trained men train the deadlift and squat on different occasions for 8 sets of 2 reps with a 95% 1 rep max load. Measures of CNS fatigue were similar between both exercises 5 and 30 minutes after training. There are two important considerations. CNS fatigue was quantified by looking at voluntary activation of the quads. This isn't an inherent problem since we know CNS fatigue can have a systemic effect, but I think it would have been more ideal for the researchers to look at an overlapping muscle between the two movements, such as the glute max. Secondly, CNS fatigue was just measured 5 and 30 minutes after the session. What about in the days after? Fortunately, another paper helps us out. 12 trained men perform the deadlift, back squat, and bench press on different occasions. With each movement, they performed 4 sets of reps to failure with an 80% 1 rep max load. None of the measurements taken indicated the deadlift was more fatiguing than the other exercises. Measures of muscle swelling, stiffness, soreness, performance, and damage was quite comparable between all 3 exercises in the days after training. Now, this study didn't strictly measure CNS fatigue, but many people's assumption is the deadlift is overall more fatiguing, and this study fails to support that. Having said this, another study had 10 recreationally trained men perform these exercises, including the deadlift, for two sets each. Subjects repeated this exact workout 24 and 48 hours after to quantify their performance recovery. The deadlift was largely the exercise that had the lowest recovery, indicating this movement may be more fatiguing, but it was far from being substantially more fatiguing. So what do we make of all this data? Well, two out of three failed to support the notion that deadlift is more fatiguing. In my eyes, the second study is probably one of the better designed ones, since it involved quite well-trained lifters and examined a range of fatigue measurements, not just one. This research is certainly surprising because it's so commonly believed the deadlift is more fatiguing. I think there could be a range of plausible reasons as to why the deadlift is perceived as being more fatiguing. Feel free to pause and read them if you like. But here's the thing, I don't believe we should fully discount the anecdotes just yet. Although the overall evidence currently fails to support the idea deadlifts are more fatiguing, two studies aren't super strong proof, so I think some further research should help clarify things. For now, I just thought it'd be interesting to share this current research and the possibility the deadlift might not truly be more fatiguing.